Affinity Photo Workbook and I'm using it for the iPad, not the desktop. This is page 110 if you do happen to have the workbook. Creating a flood selection. So let's start by drawing in the image. Flood select. And there we go. So I'll reduce that a little bit in size so we can see the whole thing and the boundaries. Now I like to do that so you're not worried about the screen going off the side like that. The toolbars. Now because we're doing a selection we need to tap the selections persona remember and we're looking for the flood select tool. Now it's that one there. Flood select tool looks like a looks like a magician's wand. Now we move the cursor to the right to increase the selection tolerance until the entire sky is collected, so they say. Now you can do this a number of ways. And in that case I just tapped it and it selected the entire sky. Sometimes it won't do that, I don't know why. You've got, but you can see the crawling ants across the mountain range there. And I won't go back and show you how what happens if you use the pencil. I just used my finger for that. Sometimes uh, the Apple Pencil is too, um, too accurate, you might say. So it tries selecting the individual clouds. In that case, I wanted the whole sky. Now, we want to change those clouds, darken them. And we have to go to the adjustment layer. Now, you'll find that back in the photo persona. And the adjustment layer, let me show you via the menu. The adjustment studio is those three little dots in the square on the right hand side. Layers, color, brushes, adjustment studio. And we want the levels adjustment. And there we go, it's one, two, three, fourth from the bottom. The levels adjustment. And now you can see down the bottom, let's darken those clouds by dragging that up to 50%. You can see the clouds are a lot darker. I want to whiten the whites. Take them down a little bit to 90%. Now that gives those clouds quite a, a glowering look, if you like, to bring out, brings out more detail in the sky. Now, if you've got photographs, um, that need the sky adjusting, you've got the foreground or your the main body of your photo really nice, um, but the sky is washed out. Then that's how, that's how you can do it. Select the sky. I was just looking for things on the bottom there. And the job's done. Now, we want to get rid of the crawling ants. Remember, it's back to there, the tool menu, and deselect. Now the crawling ants are gone and your clouds are nice and dark over that over that uh, very rough looking landscape. That's all there is to creating a flood selection.